I swear I'm not selling out. Fall Guys. I've played it. I like it. But only to a point. Fall Guys is a Battle Royale style game made by Mediatonic and published by Devolver Digital. Mediatonic had pitched this game to many publishers, only to have it shot down time and time again. Then, Devolver Digital, who I most know for Serious Sam, Enter the Gungeon, Shadow Warrior, the remake at least, and Titan Souls, snatched it up real quick in a hurry. They have a tendency to snatch up really good or pretty niche indie games. The game is a nice blend of fluid controls, appealing art style, amazing bass. I, I, I am a bass player. <laughs> and a touch of aggravation. It is, as far as I can tell, based on Takeshi's Castle. And if you live here in the States, it's called MXC, Most Extreme Challenge. <laughs> and Wipeout. With maps directly taken from both shows and painted with a layer of fall ice paint, this alone draws fans of those shows in. It is only missing the commentary from the announcers to be a complete video game of the shows. Not like the Wii and Xbox 360 versions of Wipeout either. The level challenges are fair, but hard, at least on some levels, where the difficulty is from other players and not the level itself in most cases. This is where the frustration aspect comes in. You can easily make it through a level, but players knocking you over, grabbing you, throwing you, and blocking you can remove you from the match very easily. This makes for fast matches and a strong urge to take breaks. As more frustration equals more broken controllers. Streamers and YouTubers are eating this up, as the more they freak out, the more views they will get. Which leads to more people wanting the game, which leads to more people making freakout reactions. A perfect storm of free advertising. A streamer runs up to the slime climb map to get to the balance beams, only to have a player dressed as a pigeon blocking the path and shoving people off into certain doom. The streamer screams and flails. Audience laughs. Start the process all over again. A large gripe I have is actually the costumes in the game. They are cute in their own way, but need to be either earned or purchased, most people taking the latter route. This can be fine, like League of Legends and other games have done, but they lock off costumes by only having so many up for sale at a time, pressing urgency to get the outfit so people will either grind for the coins or simply buy more. Very EA, if you ask me. I would like to blame Devolver for this, but given that it is a hard program in the game, I don't know if it was them or the developers themselves that implemented this. With all that being said, long review, I know. I enjoy the game. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy the game. Uh, I'm glad I bought it. And in saying that, I can only play a few matches at a time. Otherwise, I start getting the Dead by Daylight anger. Like, constant campers and Dead by Daylight and stuff. And here, you get the constant shovers and the blockers. And people that just kind of cheat. That's something I didn't touch on. Um, there's a large amount of hackers that are showing up in the game. <laughs> like, you'll start a match, and then the person will just suddenly be at the finish when the match just started. So it's kind of garbage with that. 
But if you like Takeshi's Castle or Wipeout or anything similar to that, uh, Double Dare or something like that, I would recommend this game for you. It is enjoyable for that. If you like cutesy games that are visually appealing and you don't get frustrated so easily, I would also recommend it for you. Um, I can't say much more than that. Uh, I might do a follow up a few months from now or a few weeks, I don't know if the game's gotten better or worse. I kind of wish there was more variety in the maps. Um, I keep playing the same maps over and over again, so. Uh, but I'll give this four potatoes. Four potatoes. Well, thank you guys for staying for my game review. Uh, I'm going to be posting text reviews in my website down below in my blog. Uh, I stream on YouTube, I stream on Twitch, mostly on Twitch. Uh, so if you're not following me there, go ahead and drop a follow down below. If you're not subscribed to me here on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell. It does help. Um, I, I would like to do more videos like this. Uh, I just need to get more in depth with some games. Uh, I am working on another one. Uh, right now I'm working on the script for it and getting gameplay footage. So I look forward to seeing you there. And remember, always follow your dreams, guys. Peace, peace.